and of course the stringers. It was like an art form watching those guys work. Meantime, we've reached our fourth match on the show court on this second day. It should be a cracker. Ratchanok into Don, so popular wherever she plays. Although having a bit of a tough time at the moment against Kim Garton from Korea. Here is the women's singles draw. If you were with us earlier, you'd have seen Tai Su Ying put on something of an exhibition to take care of Nozomi Okahara. And you can see also in the uh, top half there, Michelle Lee has gone through. But we are concentrating on Intanon versus Kim Ga Un. Somewhat surprisingly, only the fourth meeting between them. You'd have thought Let's hear it for Thailand. Ratchanon, Intanon, and Korea's Kim Ga Young. So players coming on courts ahead Hello. of this round of 32 women singles. There is the confirmation they've only met Hello. three times in the past. Kim, Kim. has had the red uh, better of it. Red. Last meeting was at the uh, Malaysian Masters. It's red. Nearly a year Receive. ago. On my right. Which uh, she won having dropped the first game, Kim Garland. Ratchanok Clinton on his head, obviously, um, issues with an ankle injury that made last season one to forget from her point of view. You could maybe argue that the dip in form occurred before that. She only won one title, actually, in the last four years. But she started very young. World champion at just 18 years of age, the youngest ever. She was actually an international at 13 which is 29 now. That high ranking of one was eight years ago. Now down at 14, as you can see. But she remains wonderful to watch. And it's going to be a test for her today, you fancy, against that woman. 26-year-old Kim Gohan. Just one off her best ever ranking. She was in Tokyo at the uh, last Olympics and finally broke her duck in terms of World Tour titles last year when she won the Korea Masters, Super 300. And as mentioned, she does have the upper hand on the head-to-head -head against Intanon. Actually won World Junior Bronze in both singles and women's doubles. She's definitely improved over the last couple of years. In charge of this one is Dominic Cadera of England. And he will be supported by service judge Fabio Betta. So what do you think here, Chris? Intanon, I mentioned in my uh, introduction to the show, struggling for four-man fitness. We know she's a great player Ready on her to day, play. but she has been struggling of late. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just hard to ever rule out Ratchanok. You know, she's had such a long career already, which sounds such a strange thing to say at the age of 29, but as you said, she kind of burst onto the scene, winning the World Juniors 14 years old, you know, and at 13 she was playing senior internationals. It, it's so young, um, winning the senior World Championships at 18. Um, as you get older, it gets harder. You kind of, you've only got so long that your body can handle it. And she has had a few more frustrating injuries. And how can she deal with them? But we know when she's on form, she still is one of the very best. But you never quite know what you're going to get with her at, at this kind of part of her career. So it's going to be, I think it's a 50 50 game. It's too hard to call what's going to happen. Ratchanok, Intanon, Thailand. And on my left, Kim Gan Un, Korea. Ratchanok, Intanon to serve. 
Lavon. Clay. So, where we go then? This women singles. I think Kim will try and be positive. That is a game. One love. Just the wrong side. These two, two. the rankings. Internet actually, first time for a long, long time, is uh, below Kim, 14 to 13. Mm. That was an incredible oh. moment by Kim there. She was kind of down out. Rachinov gets a perfect net cord, but somehow she gets the net cord back and wins the point. That's kind of a one in a thousand shot. I thought something must have happened because it was. <laughs> Looked like it was going to be the easiest kill imaginable. Lloyd again. So it's over. Three, two. Yeah, in the first round for any player, if they're experienced, you sometimes don't see the best of them because at the start of the match, it's getting yourself comfortable, getting yourself into the game with the conditions, how your opponent's playing, getting your confidence, your feeling, everything. Kinga and challenges called out. So, first challenge of the match. Each woman has a couple each in, uh, in each game. And if they're correct, they keep it. Kim needs this to clip the line. Not that challenge close, really, in the scheme of things. One challenge remaining. I think that's three overheads now. Kim's Play. missed this at the start of the match. Hasn't quite got a feeling her timing in yet. It's brilliant from Rachinov. Five. Two. Working rally. It's always so calm and relaxed, so smooth and fluid. Played to perfection. That's a terrific angle from Kim. Service over. Yeah, it's, it's such an interesting five. one when you think about Ratchinok because. 29 now, 11 years ago she won her first world championship and for a lot of players to be playing 11 years after winning a world championship doesn't happen that often, but because she excelled exceptionally young, you know, she's had a, she has had a very long career at the, at the top and, and now can she kind of find this extra little bit to turn Four, it around again and five. sneak back into, say, the top eight in the world, lady singles? Yeah, I mean... No one would say she's lost any of her talent. You just wonder sometimes about the sharpness, speed around the court, and the effect of the ongoing effect, cumulative effect of injuries. Finally, she nails one down the line. Yeah, it's brilliant from Kim, but yeah, Five, as you get older, four. you know, there's, there's so much you can do to prevent injuries, and you know, no doubt she's doing that and more. It's, just kind of wear and tear on the body, it breaks it down, and she's been playing for so long, you're talking, you know, 15 years at the very, very top, which sounds strange considering she's only 29, but there's, there's only so much your body can take, and these few niggles mount up. You, know, you get a niggle with your ankle, your knee, your back, and it lasts just that bit longer, and it just stems, stops your training from happening and your flow in tournaments. Another great winner Six, from Kim. Five. And obviously, I think in doubles, maybe, you can hide it a little bit, but in singles, there's nowhere to hide. 
It's a big court when you're not 100 percent. Yeah, the physical prowess needed in ladies singles, men's singles is exceptional. And yeah, to an extent, your doubles partner can aid you and you can maybe so get away so with a little bit more in singles. Who is, as you said, it's definitely nowhere to hide. Qualifying for Thailand is going to be such a competitive one because Ratchanok is the highest ranked, but just behind her, she's got three other players from Thailand, and obviously only two of those will go and Eight, only get if it's two in the top seven. 16. So it's going to be so competitive. It's going to come right down to the wire who does qualify from Thailand in the ladies' singles. Well, she's getting the range now, no question. She missed the first couple, kid. But Seven. now she's hitting that line or just inside it with an early regularity. Yeah, and that's the thing now that she's settled, as you said, it's a totally different story with those overheads so much more dangerous. Ten. Seven. Of, of Yonex for this tournament. Terrific winner from Kim, and it gives her a two-point lead at the mid-game break. She's Nine. really taking charge of this game, dominating the rallies. Not really giving 
Ratchanok a chance to show her creativity. See how much trouble Kim's in. That's a really well played shot from Ratchanok. Lovely overhead. And this is what happens when she does get time. When the lift is slightly short, she reads it. Very, very subtle touch from Kim. She's finding almost Ratchanok esque angles. Not the kind of shot you'd expect from the tie. And that was very nicely done. By Kim. Service over, 11, 14. There's still glimmers, aren't there, of, of kind of her own self or infinite at her best. But there's a lot of unforced errors, and she's just not able to put him under massive amounts of pressure. Not so far. Service over. And there for me, Ratchet on, she's just too off balance to be able to play that shot. You can see where her body weight. The shuttle is so far away from her. It's so difficult when you're out of position to play a shot of that quality. Service over. 13, 16. From Kim. 14, she read 17. it. She was in an okay position, slightly off balance, but she just slightly snatched at it. season for me anyway it was in the knees and open when I really saw kind of the level that she can play out she had a big result there and it, it just she beat Michelle Lee and Wang Ziyi and it just made me think you know she has got the potential to get possibly top 10 in the world and throughout the year she's gradually increased and improved her ranking and shown good signs of it final of the Australian Open quarter final of the Asian Games can't afford these kind of 18, errors. 15. Still not out of this first game, but 
She's giving Kim some help, that's for sure. Over the last, what, 14 minutes. Service over. 16. 18. there from Ratchinok. 20, game point, 16. So after a quarter of an hour on court, four chances for Kim to get the first game under her belt. Hey! Just needed the one, so 21-16 it is. And as I say, 15 minutes was all it took. And Ratchinok entered on. In early trouble here on only day two of the All England. She trails one game to look. doubles to follow this women's singles just warming up and it should be a really intriguing match Lane and Vendy in England taking on Hoki and Kobayashi and obviously Lane and Vendy will have all the home support but it is a tough ask that match coming right up after the conclusion of the current women's singles Just forced it there. Two, love. She's got to make sure she settles. A little bit of an edgy start in the first game as well, but she settled really well and showed some of that impressive form that we saw the end of last year. I still think, though, Chris, if, if Intanon can rid herself of some of those unforced errors. I think she's more than capable of getting back into this. I mean, definitely, you know, the, the potential that she has is in how dangerous she is overhead. There's no doubt about it. I just feel 
I don't think she can defeat Kim for pace. Um, and it, it just relies so much on her shots, and, and Kim has been so solid. Fantastic. Played to perfection. And you have to remember, Kim's one of the... She's in this elusive group. There's not many ladies that have, but Kim's one of the only few that has actually managed to beat Ansi Young in the World Tour Finals at the end of 2023 last year in the group. This is exactly the start Intanon wanted. She's raced into a 4-1 lead here. Five, one. Yeah, a lot more attacking start here from Ratchanok. Not really giving Kim a chance. This final shot is... It's good, but you can see how short it is. Kim should be frustrated that she hasn't made that. Service over. Two, five. You can see there, Ratchet not sure she frustrated herself. It's a gift, you know, it's an easy mistake. That's what you can't afford to do. You can't allow your opponent back into a match with a, an easy error. You can see, can't you? She's at odds with the game. You know, she's, she knows she's capable of so much better. Certainly that she has been. Okay, so whether she can produce so much better now at this stage of her career and with the various injuries that she's suffered. Bit of good fortune there for Kim. Seven, four. And this is a, it's a big game for both ladies because obviously Kim, she's done really well and she should have done enough to qualify for Olympics. And Ratchinok, she's right at the kind of the bottom of that list. She's got to stay in that top 16. If she was overtaken by one of the other players from Thailand, she'd still get in. Well, she's been gifted a few points in this second game, that's for Eight. sure. Ratchinok Kinsanon. Welter of errors from Kim. Let's put her somewhere adrift in the early stages here. Game two. is now it's just a case of consistency for both Five. ladies you know both apprehensive it's the first game of the tournament for them and they're just still kind of adjusting and it's just now you've got to got to knuckle down and just work the rally and even if it elongates it by a little bit you've got to find your level again another unforced error Ten. Five. it's almost like they're trading unforced errors this game so far I think you're going to see that a lot, to be honest, in this tournament in the early rounds, because it is, it's, it's the nerves, you know, the two experienced players, but it's first round, you're getting used to the, the conditions, your opponent, it's a great shot. 11-5, interval. Well, lightning quick, first few points then of the second game, they go for the mid-game break, Inter on in charge, as she looks to level the match. Yeah. 
แล้วเมย์จะออกดีได้เฮ้เขาต้องบักขาต้องบักขาของเมย์เลยว่าสุกหนึ่งสองตีหนึ่งสองแค่เสียจุดนะเกี่ยวเอาจุดที่หนึ่งไปเป็นจุดที่หนึ่งสองโอ้ยดมเยอะต้องมีจังหวะที่ถูกต้องว่าเกี่ยวกับจุดใจนะจังเลยนะSee where that lands. Yeah, you can see the player of that caliber. Is, it's quite a significant margin that was out by. Now, can Kim manage to just pull this back in? Just tighten this gap and increase the stress and the pressure on Ratchanok. She's fighting Eight, back gamely here. 11. The Korean. Good defensive shot there and taking a little bit too low. Ratchet not to have to try that. Service over. See the frustration from 12. Kim there. Eight. That's the thing we've already seen two pretty big upsets in the mixed doubles earlier on. And it, in a tournament like this, it's the All England. It's the one everybody wants to win. The pressure just building for everyone, even the favourites or the underdog, whoever it is. Seeing some slightly interesting matches already. Major challenge. Internal challenges from Ratchanok, as that was called in. She was certainly expecting the line judge to extend his arm. He did not. So she's taking the option to take it to Hawkeye. Plum on the line. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 9, 12, play. Well, this is a gutsy 10, effort from Kim 12. since the mid-game break. She was 11-5 down. So she's won five of the six points since they came back. That's an incredible shot there from Ratchanov. And it's so important that she does manage to find a way the next few points just to stop this momentum shift that's happened. Got to settle things down again. And this is the thing, shots like that, I mean, it's phenomenal. And this is what we've seen, but we've also seen those cheaper mistakes that, you know, we, we are slightly used to because when you are more creative, you will, yes, make more mistakes, but just hasn't quite settled into the match. I think it's the mistakes to winners ratio, isn't it, that's, that's changed so much with Ratchanov. She's always going to hit brilliant winners like that, but there are just way more errors now in a game. I would say, you know, 
from both players so far. We've just seen a few more than you would expect, but I do think it comes down to just the tension, the pressure. You know, it's such a big tournament. And also the first match, you've got to find your level, get used to the environment. That's an incredible shot. And this is the thing now. You know, almost flip of a coin, we so could easily super. see a higher level just come from it. Seven. Last two rallies, 13. they've just been won by brilliance. there from Kim when she pushes it over. It's the right shot. It's fractionally got it wrong. Fractional would have been in, in a bit of trouble. nowhere from Kim after a couple of errors she <laughs> produces terrific 15. shot going right across into Knox Bowles she plays that really well because she catches that wrong she kind of opens herself up very high quality shot though so important now the rap she has to keep this lead because if Kim can just relax, if she can have this comeback to pull it back to level or even get the lead, I think it's going to be so tough for Achenok then. Very, very quickly onto that. Rachinok internet challenges. Been challenged. In. And I just wonder if the little smile we saw from Kim was maybe she thought she got away with it when there was no call. We'll find out. If this is in, it's a great rally from Kim, really stretching Ratchet, not exposing her, twisting, turning until she gets the opportunity, the last shot to put it away. Yeah, she's fine. Challenge and successful. Probably tighter than needed. No but challenge remaining. But that's a big point. I think you're 14, right. I think that's why we 15. saw the smile. Didn't need to go anywhere near the line, but doesn't matter now. And just a single point in it. Play. And all the momentum now, and this is the 15. thing, it's hard to explain oh. momentum to people that haven't played at the elite level, but the only way I can describe it is, you know, it feels like there's pressure on you. There's, there's, there's a weight on top of you when someone comes back and, you know, the weight gets lifted when you're the player that is flowing with the momentum. And this is the thing now, the mistakes from Ratchinok because the momentum, 16, the pressure building on 15. her. That's why I said it, this is a pivotal part of the game. If Kim could pull it back, which she has done now, this is the key moment of the game for Ratchinok. King on the challenges. Well, called in. She can't believe that uh, that wasn't called out. This is a massive, massive point. 17-15 or 16-all. It started outside the line in the air, but there's a bit of drift bringing it back. Did it come back enough? <laughs> Making this way, increasing the drama. 
Bang on the line. Challenge and successful. One challenge remaining. This again highlights, you know, the fine, fine line, excuse the pun, but between, you know, winning the point and losing Play. the point, you're talking, I don't know what that would be, half an inch, you know, a tiny amount, but that's the difference at this elite level. For those of a certain age, by the way, half an inch, about one and a quarter centimetres. That's a really good shot, right at the body of Intenon. Could do nothing with it. Yeah, and I think that's the first time we've seen it. I'm not sure previously Kim's gone for the big smash of the body and Ratchet just kind of looked like she wasn't aware, wasn't ready for it. Good pressure there from Kim. 18, 17. Took charge, took control of that rally. See their Ratchet out of position. She's not there, just taking her time, getting the court mark, toweling down, giving her extra 20 seconds to just breathe and try and settle herself down. Great pick up from Kim. And that's a massive, massive point. 19. 17. Good placement at the end, but she did so well with the shot before. Backhand when she was in trouble to pick up. That's a wild one. And here are three match points 20. Match point for Kim Goen. It was that massive momentum shift that turned this game on its head. Good pressure at the body from Ratchinov. 18-20. Well, that'll do it. 21-18. And Ratchanok Intanon's disappointing year continues. Kim Golan, though, goes through to the round of 16. A few unforced errors, but pretty assured for the most part. And got it done in straight games in only 35 minutes on court. 21-16, 21-18. Twenty-one sixteen, twenty-one eighteen. Thirty-eight minutes. In fact, the uh, official time has been corrected to. But either way, it was a pretty speedy dismissal of the former world number one. The final point rather summed it up. The error from Antonon.
Well, a warm welcome back to Birmingham, where the locals are thoroughly enjoying this tournament. Only day two. Birmingham has hosted the All England for 30 years now. See, a few of those can't hurt. Just don't want to have too many. And we're going to have really bumper crowds here at the weekend. Probably Friday as well, actually. Anyway, back to the action on the show court, and we have a match that will definitely engage the crowd because it's England's top men's doubles pair, Ben Lane and Sean Vendy. 